Today is Sunday, August 18th, and I'm in the backyard, and I wanted to do this video to talk about the Evolve, the Wildgo, and the accessories that I'm trying to get for my boards, but I wound up getting a backpack. I looked on the Evolve website to see their backpacks. I saw a couple of videos on people with Evolve boards buy backpacks off of a uh, Evolve that can carry their boards. And the way they uh, carry it, it seems very, you know, easy to transport their <laughs> heavy ass boards because these boards are heavy. And I had a strap. I took two speaker straps from um, JBL. Uh, join them together and try to carry the board while riding the board and it just wasn't really comfortable carrying the board with those straps so what I wound up doing is going on um, I first went on Evolve they wanted like $115, $120 for a backpack to carry their boards and I was like eh, let me see what else is out there went straight on Amazon and I found um, a backpack that looks so much similar to their backpack to carry their boards as far as design and everything else. Um, they have like ref the board that I picked up have um, a reflective strip just like theirs, um, pretty much constructed just like theirs. And I only paid 70, uh, like 70, I want to say $76 with tax. It came out to 86, tax and delivery, 86. So this is what it is. Hi, right, Spanky. Say hi. Okay. I know you wanted to get in the video, so he had to make his... Yeah, I think. Okay, so this is the board, and my wow go is in it. I actually threw it on my back, and it is so much easier to carry this heavy ass board. But look at this board. <clears throat> it has reflective um, material on two of the straps on the back, somewhat similar to the um, Evolve, and. I could carry this board with the greatest of ease on my back while I ride the Evolve. And then I was having problems with the the grip tape. Um, being that it's very gripping, different surfaces that it touches, it rips it up as far as clothing and scratch up wood and stuff like that. So I wound up finding this sleeve for $20 on Amazon, which is really great. So as I'm carrying the board, it can actually lean up on my body and won't scratch me up like it did in the past. And um, this is how it looks from the back. So you have the straps. You have one strap here and then you have like these hooks that latch on to these rubber bands. And then you can actually put the sleeve on this and it's real easy to put the sleeve on too i went on um amazon site i'm mean, not amazon i went on evolve site and i saw a sleeve like that and of course they have their branding on all, all over it and they wanted like i think it was 30 dollars, and they were all sold out so thanks to them being sold out because I, I really wanted to buy it but thanks for evolve selling out on their sleeves and not uh replenishing their stock I was able to find this one that does the job just as good, if not even better, on Amazon for 20 bucks. And there's no branding on it, so it's, it's just a straight black sleeve that you can actually put on your board. And you're good to go. So, once again, I know I talk about how Evolve is, you know... Their prices are so out of control and things like that or whatever, but yeah. So the sleeve was 20 
the bag was uh, seventy nine eighty six once it was shipped, and you can store all your tools and batteries and things like that in this bag, just like you could do an Evolve bag, no different. So, and what I like about the straps here is like you can actually hook things in it, like a speaker. If you wanted to hang a speaker from your your strap and ride out with it, you could do it like that. And if you want, you could carry it this way. Real good. But let me tell you about these two boards. I had the Evol for about uh, two months now, going on three. And I am so disappointed with the performance of this board in the sense that they advertise 26 miles an hour. Battery range, no complaints. They're pretty much spot on about that. But when it comes to speed, I think with the eight, the ATV wheels, forget about it. The fastest I ever been on that board with those wheels was 16 miles an hour, very slow. This board here, this board, I think $400, $1,900, $400 performance wise, better, better performance wise on this $400 board. This board here, at $1,900, big disappointment, big disappointment. So, if I had to do it all over again, I don't know. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to order some street wheels for this board. I'm going to order the street wheels, and then I'm going to see if it gets up to 26 miles an hour. I don't know, but it's very slow with those wheels on it. This board right here, this board kicks ass. I always liked this board from the first day I bought it. And I'm, I'm, I stand by the Walgo for sure. Um, right now, I haven't gotten all my um, safety equipment, so I haven't been able to hook up with the guys and do a ride out in New York. But um, I'm working on the uh, safety equipment because once I convert this board to street wheels i'm gonna see if it reaches at least all right if it doesn't do 26 miles an hour can it at least do 25 24 23 i'll even take 22 miles an hour but at 16 miles an hour for 1900 dollars, very disappointed very disappointed and again having it for two months riding it i've never reached past 16 17 miles an hour tops so um as far as going over cracks uh having it being very comfortable those wheels definitely make the ride comfortable but when it comes to speed you can't get it on on this boy with those wheels now once i convert it to street we're going to see what happens but again um right now a little bit disappointment here with 1900 dollars, 400 dollars, loving it this is one of my favorite boys out of the two i have to go with this all day when I'm going to ride on some rough terrain or whatever, if I know I'm going to do a, a lot of riding, rough terrain, cracks in the sidewalks and all that, I'll take this. And then when that battery dies, then I'll just jump on this because like now i got the backpack. So I'm good. 